How much power do you need to crush a Boss Coffee can? And can you crush a Boss Coffee can under the wheels of a 2006 Suzuki Swift? A lot of people have been asking that and today I'm going to find that out. Hello all, welcome to another edition of Food Sack, coming at you live from the Flavor Bunker with a Boss Coffee update. Now I've done two videos about Boss Coffee in the past. Firstly, when they came so to Australia, and then when they released today. the vanilla iced latte. I am back. I'm going to check out all the new things that's happening with Boss Coffee. And today I'm going to be checking out not one, not two, but three separate Boss Coffees. That's right, since the last time I've talked about Boss Coffee, they have released three new flavors in Australia. We're quickly catching up to Boss Coffee Japan. They have released the Iced Double Espresso, the Iced Caramel Latte, and I'm also going to be checking out the brand new, this came out like last week, the Iced Mocha. They all sound pretty good. I want to see which one's the best. I haven't tried any of these. The logo is still without his little pipe. I guess uh, that's just not gonna come back, but uh, we're gonna see which one of these is better. So let's check it out. Alrighty, so I might check them out in order that they were released. I believe the iced double espresso came out before the other two. I'm not quite sure. I've not really been keeping up with the Boss Coffee uh, milieu. I've been sticking to the iced latte. I really do like that one, especially in the afternoon. You know, you've got a choice, like maybe it's too warm for a hot coffee and you can't be bothered making one or buying one. You've probably already bought one in the morning. It's a bit expensive to get two hot coffees in the one day, but uh, the Boss Coffee is a nice little afternoon pick me up. So I do get the ice latte one quite often. I've not tried this one. Um, just have a look. Calorie wise, comparing the three. There we go. The ice double espresso is 88 calories per can. The iced caramel latte, 92. And the mocha has a whopping 97 calories. So bit of a treat that one i'm not quite sure what the uh what the ice latte one is or the uh the, the black coffee that's probably much better but anyway let's have a try so iced double espresso let's give it a go ready for the uh the uh the very muted uh opening of a non-carbonated beverage there Let's check it out. Let's check out its color and general appearance. Mmm, as expected, it is brown. There we go. Mmm, quick whiff. Mmm, that's definitely iced coffee. Mmm, yeah, this is quite good. Very typical. Actually, yeah, this takes me, it takes me right back to Japan having a Boss Coffee from any vending machine in Japan. It, it is maybe even more than the, uh, than the iced latte. This is like the typical canned Japanese coffee. This is very, very typical. It's uh, not too sweet. I find that a lot of Australian iced coffees are very sweet, but these ones are not, but they're not bitter either. So that's good. Anyway, so that's quite good. That's uh, every bit as good as the iced latte. Let's check out the orange iced caramel latte. Again, ready? Three, two, one. Ah, yeah. Um, yeah, let's, let's just check that out. Hmm. So it's a bit, uh, yeah, a bit lighter in color there. I guess, you know, this one being the double espresso, it is double the amount of caffeine. It probably is. Let me just check how much caffeine is in this. Does it say how much caffeine? It does not. I don't know. Maybe I'm a... Uh... No, it just says it uh, contains caffeine. So, I don't know. Whatever. All right, but anyway, let's try the, uh, the caramel, the iced caramel latte. I've been looking forward to this. I've been putting this off, but um, yeah, now I finally get to try it. 
well, strong scent of caramel there, like the, uh, the the artificial sort of caramel smell. But anyway, let's uh, let's taste it. Oh, sorry. Pardon me. I should cleanse the palate first. Yes, I will do that. I uh, I have some soda water here, and uh, I have my uh, my mug. These mugs are available on Redbubble. Still available. Plenty available. In fact, like. Heaps. Please, please buy one. Jeez, sorry, wobbling the camera. Sorry. It's kind of at an awkward angle. Mm. All right, so that's a uh, palette sufficiently cleansed. Let's try the caramel latte. Mmm. That tastes a little bit different to how it smells. It does smell very sweet and very caramelly, but after drinking it, it's not quite as caramelly as one would have expected. It's a subtle caramel flavor. I think that really does typify Boss coffee and really sets it apart from other iced coffees in Australia is its subtlety. They are far more subtle than, um, than the typical iced coffee that we have in Australia that you can buy like in a bottle or can. Really not bad, really not bad. I would not choose this over the uh, the double espresso or the iced latte, my favorite, but it is, uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. All right, quick, quick palate refresher. Mm. All right, on to the new one, the new and exciting mocha Bossed coffee. Now this seems to be a bit of a treat. It's uh, it's got more sugar than the other ones, I believe. Yes, 14.6 grams of sugar as opposed to the double espresso. No, it's got 14.6 as well. What? Am I reading this right? I think I am. Hmm. I would have thought it would have more sugar, and this one's got less sugar than that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Whatever, you can figure that out for yourself. I don't know, these are normally sold, like, all in the same place. I'm just gonna check it out. I'm just commenting on flavor. Let's, uh, let's, let's check it out. Alrighty. Okay, and, uh, let's appreciate its color and body. Mmm. Yes. Quite brown as well. These are all... Fairly similar shades of brown. Three shades of brown. Yes. Let's uh, let's try out the iced mocha boss coffee. Mmm. Mmm. That's very drinkable. Which really is is what you want in a drink, isn't it? It's, uh, it's drinkability is quite important. So I think on that front, the, uh, the iced mocha boss coffee is drinkable. This is, this is really nice, actually. This is, uh, this is one for the kids. One for, uh, people that, you know, don't like the taste of coffee that much, but still want some coffee flavor, but need it sweetened a little bit. Something in there to sweeten the deal. It's got that nice chocolate flavor to uh, like sweeten it a bit, add a new flavor dimension. Oh, that was really nice. That might replace the iced latte that I get quite often. I'm not sure, but that was pretty good. That was pretty good. So uh, yeah, I like that one. I do like that one. Actually, I've noticed since the launch of Boss Coffee, there have been more canned coffees available in Australia. Starbucks have their own, Nescafe did, or maybe still do have their own, and there are some independent iced coffee in a canned things as well. There was also the ill-fated, really horrible carbonated iced coffee. I think Dare made that. What? That was one of the Entirely worst drinks of, one of the worst things I've ever reviewed on this channel. Really bad. I don't think that's around anymore. But Boss Coffee, yeah, I think really started it in Australia and I think the boom is continuing. They seem to be doing all right if they are releasing new coffees every so often. So I like it. Well done. Good on you, Boss Coffee. Keep it up. We are slowly catching up to the amount of Boss Coffee flavors in Japan. I just hope we start getting the ads with Tommy Lee Jones. We need Tommy Lee Jones in our Boss Coffee commercials in Australia. Please make it happen. We need it to happen. We need Tommy Lee Jones to come to Australia 
to sell Boss Coffee. Now, one other thing that uh, every Boss Coffee drinker has noticed is uh, how stiff the cans are. You can't, inf I'm gonna use my full strength and I can, I can barely put a dent in that can. Barely put a dent in that can. So, you know, people have wondered, how much power do you need to crush a Boss Coffee can? And can you crush a Boss Coffee can under the wheels of a 2006 Suzuki Swift. A lot of people have been asking that, and today I'm going to find that out. So let's go to the Flavormobile and check out, can we crush a can of Boss Coffee under the wheels of a 2006 Suzuki Swift? Let's go. All right, I'm currently in the Flavor Garage. I'm here set up with the 2006 Suzuki Swift with the cans of Boss Coffee waiting to get run over. We're gonna find out if the Suzuki Swift will be able to crush the steel cans of the Boss Coffee cans. This is the most extreme stunt we've ever done here at Food Sack. This is pretty dangerous. Do not try this at home. I will need you to stand back. Just stand back. Thank you. Let's do this. All good? Yep. All good. Let's go. So there we have it, you can indeed crush a Boss Coffee can with a 2006 Suzuki Swift. Here's the evidence. Look at that, flat. So it was pretty tricky to do, you have to line it up properly. I didn't get all three, but uh, you know, I, I think we have, uh, we've proven that you can, you can crush a Boss Coffee can with a car. Myth confirmed.